The imposition of tariffs by both the U.S. and China on $34 billion in goods came and went on Friday with no sign of a breakthrough in talks. The U.S. is now charging manufacturing and industrial parts from China and China agricultural products from the U.S. In three weeks, another round on $16 billion in goods could go into effect with more retaliation potentially provoking more action from the United States. The U.S. Trade Representative on Friday allowed companies to begin asking for exemptions from these new tariffs, though that process can take several months. The uncertainty that this trade policy has wrought stands starkly against a backdrop of strong overall economic growth and solid job gains as seen by last week's data. But the backdrop of the global trade war will loom large at the NATO summit in Brussels this week. Of the 28 other member countries, all but three have fought back against U.S. metal tariffs, either by retaliating themselves or challenging the tariffs at the World Trade Organization. Though some softening by German Chancellor Angela Merkel is lifting German car makers today. Merkel telling reporters, quote, we have to have agreement in Europe if we want to negotiate trade tariffs in the auto sector, for example. We can't just do this with the United States, but rather we must include all countries that we have auto trade with. We'll see whether that provides an impasse that can be broken when President Trump arrives in Europe a little bit later on this week. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.